have a great function that's going to take place for the first time uh, in Zimbabwe. Always when we have our independence celebrations, Tinenge, Tichita, Mami, Mitambo, Yakawanda, Wanda, Makala, Nadarudaru, but this time, because it's Manikaland, and only because it's Manikaland, we found it important and necessary to introduce uh, a Miss Uhuru National Dress uh, uh, pageant where we're going to have uh, our girls from all over the country con coming to Manikaland to compete with our beautiful Manikaland girls. Uh, back to back with that function, we are also going to have another great event running on the same day. We are going to have this great event at uh, Skyview uh, Hotel, right at the city centre of Mutare. Uh, on this day, on Saturday, we, uh, this coming Saturday, we are going to have the Uhuru, uh, Miss Uhuru National Dress uh, competition, which will be running uh, back to back with uh, the Manikaland National Dress uh, competition uh, fundraising dinner. We are going to have uh, the girls uh, displaying our great national dress. We are encouraging everyone who is coming to attend the function to dress uh, uh, in the national dress. And uh, it is important that uh, everyone notes that this country is now has a national dress, which we must all respect. This national dress has been championed by our first lady. And uh, we thank you very much. We thank you for really being on the forefront of encouraging every Zimbabwean to dress well and dress decently in the national colors, in the national dress. Uh, the people of Manikaland are very uh, aesthetic. They are elected to have this uh, competition, uh, the Uhuru competition and the national dress competition. So we're expecting a full house at uh, uh, the, the venue. Uh, the time, starting time will be at 7 at, uh, till tomorrow and uh, there's going to be a lot of entertainment. And Miss Uhuru pageant is meant to empower young women in our communities and we have selected uh, from all the 10 provinces. The nation turns 44 and we treasure achievement achievements made by the Second Republic in line with this year's theme, maintaining peace, unity, and development towards attaining Vision 2030. We have designed the pageant to promote Zimbabwean culture and beauty through showcasing talent and cre creativity bent on celebrating the achievement of Zimbabwean women with beauty and brains from both urban and rural communities. As I will be representing Manikale province, being one of the contestants for the first time as Miss Uhuru have never happened since 1980. I greatly appreciate the Miss Uhuru uh, pageant for selecting me and my colleagues from Manikala province and we can't wait for the great day on the 6th of April. Your name? I am Amanda Simba representing Manikala province. Okay.